What is the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear the word prayer? Is it communication with God? Is it throwing words out into the universe? Is it related to good vibes? Is it powerful? Do you know how to do it? Well, today I'm going to teach you how to pray. I'm a Christian, so I believe in Jesus Christ. I'm going to teach you how to pray as a Christian. There are many other religions that pray in different ways, such as kneeling at an altar or going to a priest. So the first step to praying as a Christian is quieting your mind. So still, still your mind. So whatever crazy thoughts, anxieties, emotions that are running through your mind, still them. The second step is to open your mouth. So a lot of people get stuck here because they don't know what to say or how to do it. Now you can pray in, in however way, whatever order you want to pray, but this is a basic guideline to how you should pray. It's actually a very famous prayer that I'm going to teach you. It's called the Lord's Prayer. So you can find it in the Bible, Matthew chapter 6, 9 through 13. It's a passage where Jesus is teaching his disciples how to pray. So he starts out the prayer with, Our Father who is in heaven, hallowed be thy name. So this part of the prayer, he's acknowledging who he's speaking to. He's not just speaking words into thin air. He, he's acknowledging that he is talking to God, a holy God. Then he goes on to say, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So that is an act of surrender on his part. He said, Lord, I want your will, not my will. Then he goes on to say, give us today our daily bread. This is the part of the prayer where he asks for what he needs for this day. So for you, it could be something like you need peace or you need a good grade on a test. Whatever you need that day, you pray for Forgive us of our debts as we have forgiven our debtors. So this is the part of prayer where you'll ask for forgiveness. So let's say you lied. So this will be the part of prayer where you say, God, I'm so sorry that I lied. And this is also the part of prayer where you'll say, God, I know that that person hurt my feelings really bad, but I'm choosing to forgive them. So that's the part of prayer for, where you ask for forgiveness and you also forgive other people. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. So that's the part of the prayer where you'll ask for protection. So it could be protection from illness. It could be protection from a, relation, a toxic relationship. It could be protection for COVID-19. And then the third step to praying is to say amen. So the word amen actually means so be it. So when you say amen after your prayer, you mean so be what I just prayed. So you quiet your mind, you open your mouth, and you say amen, which means so be my whole prayer. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.